Welcome, everyone. It's the 23rd of January, 2023. This is the Jenkins Governance Board meeting. Thanks for being here. Topics on the agenda today, news, action items, and then build monitor view and community activity. Those are the only topics that I had. Are there any other topics that anyone would like, would like to add to the agenda? All right, well then let's go ahead and get started. So on the news front, Jenkins 2.375.2 released uh, a week and a half ago. Thanks very much to our release lead there. Much appreciated. Um, Alex, I may have forgotten. Was that Chris Stern release lead or that was you? Yeah, that was Chris. Great. Thank you. So special thanks to Chris and thanks in advance to Alex for acting as release lead for the next LTS coming up. The December 2022 newsletter was published. It's quite impressive. Don't miss the chance to read about all the things that have happened in the Jenkins project in the last 12 months. Governance, security, infrastructure, platforms, localization, UX, uh, the website improvements, advocacy, all sorts of things happened there. Great, great collaborative effort creating that blog post. Yeah, it's quite a long trip one, but it's interesting to read. <laughs> Good. The rest of the team. Yeah. So now the now the next newsletter has already started its preparation. So uh, the hyperlink there will take you to the seed. If you'd like to add content to it, you're welcome to. I'll certainly put some things in for the governance board. Uh, the security team has announced that tomorrow they'll be delivering a plug-in security advisory. Uh, we look forward to that. Thanks to the security team for the ongoing work they do. February 8th, we'll have Jenkins 2.375.3, expected to be the last release in the 2.375 LTS line. Thanks, Alex, for acting as release lead. The, uh, the, the backports had a couple of items that I think are of interest. And thanks very much to Bobby Sandal for a backport, to Alex for doing the initial backports. Thanks very, very much. And uh, we are also this week going to choose the next LTS baseline. And really pleased to note that the ratings for the last seven weekly releases have been consistently positive. The, the stability of the weekly release, it, it keeps getting new capabilities, it keeps getting new enhancements, it keeps, keep it, keeps getting improvements, and yet the ratings are holding high. Thanks very, very much. And last item is on the 4th and the 5th of February, Saturday and Sunday, FOSDOM 2023 will be held in Brussels. Uh, Alex, I know you're going to be there. Uh, Uli, I believe you were not going to be there. Uh, Oleg, oh, had yes, you decided... Like Oh, I'm you are there. going to be there. No, oh, no, you're not. I'm not going there. Sorry. <laughs> okay, got it. And I just don't know if I to... should answer with yes or no because. <laughs> right. I, I'm sorry. I speak English, and I speak. It's worse. I speak English like an American, which means I ask upside down questions, and I apologize for that. So you're <laughs> correct. Oleg, had you decided? Were you going to be able to make it to Brussels? Mm, yes, unless something unplanned happened, I will be there for two days and yeah I'm not giving any talks so I will definitely join uh, the booth I also Great. have a an action item to follow up with Alisa on a dinner and to poke people who go a spoiler alert uh, yeah, according to the xcloud this channel there will be also a few other uh, people uh, joining I mean, Good. the ones from the Jenkins community, so prepare for interesting uh, conversation. Um, Great. Thank you. And I'm afraid I won't be there, um, but I know I have several friends who will be there. John Mark will be there. Demian will be there. Uh, Bruno Verachton, Verachton will be there. So looking forward to hearing good things about it. Mm -hmm. Next topic then was action items. So Alex, yours on reviewing community members and lists for membership or for ownership anything you want to report there yeah following up the 
three items from past week. Um, this week, or at least last week, the um, public GSOC group has been archived in favor of the community forums and the Gita chat. I think the docs office uh, mailing list has been archived. At yes. least I got a mail from you. <laughs> it has been, that's correct. And the um, hardware and EDA group has been removed from all documentation sources. Great. Thank you very much. Now, is there is there more that needs to be done there? Or should we mark this one as, con as complete? I think that is almost done. All lists on Jenkins IO are up to date and are in use. Great. And I'm going to mark it as done. Thanks so much. Alex, thank you, thank you. Great pattern to, to be getting things done. Thank you. Now on the negative side, I have not completed the election badges for the 2022 elections. I'll have to learn how to do that and do it separately. You mean Kevin. the open badge on the Linux Foundation? Uh, I don't see, I don't know how they were how they were done before, Oleg. So I was going to have to do uh do the research okay I, I can uh, get uh, you to that maybe later this week if it's fine with you sure that'd be um, great yeah i'm just traveling until tomorrow end of the day but uh, after that uh, i can show it to you because i also had an action item uh, for another thing in these pages great all right thank you and alex noted already that the community jank the doc sig mailing list has been transitioned so that one's done. Thanks. Easy CLA, Oleg? No. Okay. Yeah, I remember that uh, one month ago I said that uh, I'm going uh, to finish it. I'm still going to finish it. Okay. Uh, but yeah, sorry about that. No problem. So next one was create an empty agenda item. I'm embarrassed to admit last, last time I failed to do it. I will keep this on the list until it becomes a consistent pattern. So this week's agenda I had to create in the last two hours today. Next topic was the concept of working groups to combine subprojects and SIGs into a single concept. Haven't done it, will do it. We do have, however, a very nice addition I've got to show that thanks to uh, Gavin Mogan and Vandit Singh, security now has its own top level entry. Overview, administrators, reporters, maintainers, and security team. I like it. It's 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 not just not just a few people doing it. This was a, a person who's preparing for Google Summer of Code who wanted to contribute and contributed very nicely. Next topic was send a proposal to Rick to retire the Chinese Jenkins site. Oleg, anything you want to report there? Well, I sent the proposal. I didn't get a response. Okay. I guess it's uh, time to pink again. So currently there is a lunar, year, uh, lunar new year in China. So actually, I believe it just happened yesterday. Or, But yeah, uh, it's safe to assume uh, that uh, this week nothing is going to happen, but I will uh, pink Rick next week. Great. All right. Yeah, I, I was looking at activity and there's Rick has had no activity in the Jenkins project in terms of pull requests in about two years. So I think it's safe to assume that mm -hmm. that thing really is not active. All right, next topic was... Yeah, so the question is whether anyone is willing to step up and to maintain this site, but I wouldn't expect so. And for us, yeah, maintaining one quality version is better than having alternatives right i agree wholeheartedly okay next topic then was archive the governance meeting notes here we had the action gavin has done the extraction work so the archive is ready we just need the repository the infra team had a we we had a proposal to put it in jenkins ci Infra said it should be an infra or vice versa. I don't remember which. Uh, do Does anyone on the board care strongly about which of those two locations hosts this, this archive? I would rather prefer Jenkins CI. It's a kind of 
normal pattern in open source projects to have um, a governance repository. So in CNCF, it's the community repository that is standalone or governance. And yeah, I think for us, governance would be handy and then we can put other content there as well. Okay. Any objections from others? I, I don't recall which which pre which preference the infra team had, and so I'm I'm open to either. Okay, so then let me take the action on Mark. Check the infra team preference. And if it is, if they're okay with it being in Jenkins CI, we'll just go with it there. Great. Thank you. Any other action items that we might have missed? So next topic then is the build monitor view plugin. Basel. Was there a question? Uh, just, I think, I think the question would be, what's the current status of it? So last two weeks ago, we discussed it, agreed that it was approved, that it should move to the Jenkins CI organization and that the requests from the maintainer were were good good requests. We were fine with that. Any any further progress you want to report on it? Yeah, I've been in contact with Jan Molek, and most recently he was he has expressed a desire to get the test suite working before transferring the repository to us. So I followed up with him to ask him what the reason for that is, because I don't see why it would be a blocker. Uh, in the short term or the medium term. So still waiting for a reply and hopefully we can get to a conclusion about that pretty soon and move forward. Great. Any questions or concerns from others on build monitor view? No, it's a legit plugin. So once we get all the approvals, it's fine to just move it. Right. Yeah, I think the in the last board meeting notes, there were details of what John's concerns were and how basel has been resolving them. Great, thank you. All right, in terms of community activity, the two points that I had were Google Summer of Code, where interest is growing and the next LTS baseline is being, it will be, is to be selected soon. Any other topics that need to go on the list for community activity? Mm, I'm not sure whether it counts, but um, we need to do a project update at the CDF TOC meeting. So something all projects would be expected to do from time to time. And is that is that something where it would be, could it be taken from the 2022 summary? Is it kind of a look at the year, at the past year? Mm, I think it's perfectly fine. Okay. I think if it's a refactored kind of presentation, it would be a perfect fit for such kinds of things. Okay. So if you mark uh, Alexander or anyone else, uh, so authors of the blog post want to present it, um, I can help you, I think it's scheduled. Yeah, does anyone object if I present? I'm happy to be the voice. I need to attend that meeting periodically anyway. Uh, does that work for others if I'm the voice presenting that thing? It's fine. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ah, ah, print. I don't need to print. Control P. Great. Thank you. Any other topics for today? All right. Thanks very much for your time, everyone. Much appreciated. Recording will be available in about 24 hours.
Okay, bye-bye.